Hey what's going on gamers, welcome back to another Monster Rogers Adventure. Today I'm going to be talking about the new Team Shop update. Well, it was a week ago, but I'm going to be making a video on it on which monster is actually worth it. So, we are mostly going to be talking about legendaries, no epics I guess. Well, we are going to go over epics if there are any. I think there are. There's like at least two or so. And we're going to talk about those two, but mostly we're going to focus on legendaries. So, of course, everyone wants to buy legendaries. Did. I don't think anybody wants to buy epics, but if you do want to buy any epic um, monsters in the, in the um, team shop, then I will be talking about that, which one is worth it and which one's not. So these monsters, I mostly have them all and uh, if I don't have any, I already uh, looked up and saw some videos, well back then, long time ago, I've seen videos of um, these monsters, like most of them that I don't have. and. Um, that's why I'm not going to be purchasing them because uh, some of them are not really too good I guess and of course we want monsters that are good and if you don't if you want some um, a monster that um, that you want for your collection then I will just I guess um, either save up my coins or something because I don't think these monsters most of them uh, some of them actually are that worth it to purchase uh, it's just waste of coins but if you want to really focus on which legends are really good at um, out of all of them, then I will um, go ahead and uh, let you guys know on today's video. I am only going to be going over the monsters that, um, like, I'm only going to be going over their skills. I'm not really going to take them to battle or anything like that. It's just that um, it's not. I don't want to make this video too long or boring, so I'll just let you guys know which one's actually really worth it and which one's not. So like. Uh, I'm gonna sh to tell you which one's a sh like a heavy attack for monster and which one is a supporter. So Alice's bodyguard. All right, so let's quickly talk about this monster. Now this monster is most likely a supporter, not a attacker. So this monster he could apply taunt to himself, uh, which means like he will take all his all the damage, incoming damage from the enemy, all the monsters I guess, to himself. And but if it if it is like a multiple skill, it won't work out because he he can't really do that. Uh, not any monster can do that. So it's just a, um, I guess it's a taunt just for himself. Okay, not for uh, like it's for all the allies, like all the incoming damage. But if it's a multiple skill, you guys know what I'm talking about. So he won't take that. Um, then he has of course healing. I think most of the monsters that are nature, uh, they most likely are like. Um, they're not really attackers, they are supporters, like healing, you know, all those kills. Just from the nature, you know, I guess. But, um, the other one is uh, increased healing. So he could increase his healing, um, or his, uh, allies, I guess. But, uh, the top four skill that I saw was, uh, he could just heal himself, increase healing. I don't know about, um, his allies. But this monster is like okay, I guess he's pretty decent. If you want to purchase him, go ahead and do so. He is pretty, um, I guess, short. Look at his, the size of him. Uh, they didn't really, you know, work out work on his design too much. But I guess he's all right. Uh, who cares about design? I mean, yeah, a lot of people do. But it's just that um, we most likely want um, the monster to be good or not. So this monster is okay, like I said. But if you want, if you don't want to purchase him, then don't do it. Um, I wouldn't recommend you purchasing him, but if you want to, I mean, he's still okay. So whatever you want to do, just do it. Then we have General Ingevar. So this monster is actually was out, been out, I guess, for a long time. This monster is pretty awesome. He has a lot of good skills. He is like, let's say, attacker and also a supporter. So this monster, his the way he looks is pretty cool. And if you haven't seen my other videos, uh, Team Shop updated videos. The, uh, I reviewed them already. So this monster is like uh, one of his skill is encouragement, where he basically uh, applies healing to all his allies and um, regeneration, stamina regeneration. It's pretty cool. This monster pretty awesome, and he also has discouragement, which makes uh, all the enemies weak against light and um, legendary skill, which is pretty awesome. I really like that skill. And he is pretty awesome. So if you want to get him, then I would recommend you definitely 100% go ahead and purchase them. Now we're going to talk about General Shinero. This monster is most likely an attacker, heavy attacker. Uh, she has burning, multi, I guess multi-burning, multi-poisoning, uh, I guess. And um, 
stun. Not for all the enemies, but just one single target stun. And that's all I can tell you. This mall sure is alright, pretty good. Uh, if you want to get him to level, level 130, then that's when this mall sure is like very OP. But um, even to getting getting him uh, getting her to level 100, she's a pretty good attacker. So yeah, go ahead and purchase her if you want to. Now talking about General Tom, he he used to be my, one of my favorite monsters, but now I have way too many good attackers, and of course, um, this monster is just overused, you know, overrated. So uh, I mean, a lot of people use them, and then when I like saw everybody using them, I didn't really want to use them anymore because it's just overrated. But um, now I don't think too many people uses them. But if you want to purchase them, um, he has a uh, very heavy attack one single target which is very heavy okay and then he has armored troops which gives a big shield for all the any it's for all the allies my bad um then of course he has earth uh, offensive which is one of his skill name uh that stuns it's a multi-stun it's a really good and then um the last skill i forgot the name but um it, it kind of like double lives and of course um gives a big shield which is really good now this is a really good attacker so his name is Jonah Holter and I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys know him. it's not a new monster but uh, he has one of his skill which gives uh, double damage and uh, it, uh, it of course attacks the enemy It's just a single target uh, that gives him a 100% damage boost and after the damage boost if you use flaming cannon which is one of his skill um, it is very heavy it is very heavy that it almost kills the enemy so after like even if, even if it doesn't kill him uh, it gives a burning which is most likely sometimes uh, kills the enemy so you guys know burning effect is really good too so this monster when he was out everybody purchased him because uh, I remember when he was out the first time we uh, there was a new island with it too uh, that you had to purchase so uh, this monster is a really good attacker. If you want to purchase him, go ahead and do so. He is uh, one of definitely one of my favorite monsters, a metal monster, I guess, from the general type, I guess, whatever. But yeah, this monster is really worth buying if you want to do it. Go ahead and do so. But anyway, let's move on. Now, finally, talking about general tea times, this monster is actually very overrated. But uh, I don't really care about that uh, anymore because. I mean, yeah, we talked about General Tom that he was overrated, but General Tatis is OP too because I mean, just one of her skill, well, definitely, actually, two of her skill is most likely very good. Uh, one of them is called Stamina Divorce, which takes away all the stamina from the enemy and of course from herself. But um, taking away all their stamina, that is OP, isn't it? And uh, after that, Eli T Truth, which gives the whole uh, ally. All of, all of her teammates, 100% uh, stamina, and of course damage boost with precision. So this is a really good attacker, uh, not attacker actually, my bad. Uh, pretty good supporter for your team, and uh, if you want any, uh, want to put any runes, definitely put everything speed because this is a really good um, supporter. So yeah, definitely purchase her if you haven't already, if you're new to the game, purchase her because she is really worth um, buying. And why, why does she cost 2,500? They're really increasing this amount of the amount of um, coins. Like, come on! Back then, she used to be around 800. Now it's 2,500. Are you serious? It's like I don't get why they are. They keep moving uh, monsters. Like the amount of coins they keep changing it. Like, come on! Social point. But anyway, moving on. General Yuria. This monster is pretty decent, and uh, she's most likely an attacker. And the first time she came out. A lot of people actually purchased her because, uh, of course, it was a new monster. But at the same time, she looked very cool. But uh, her skill is it, it's pretty decent. Like decent, I mean, like really good, but not the best. So she has a multiple uh, multiple thunder damage skill and um, blinding for one target and Desi for one target and of course um, yeah charge boom, which is actually really heavy attack. So yeah, uh, you can purchase her if you want to. But whatever, I mean, it's your choice. Now talking about a dark monster. So this is a really good monster for a uh, heavy attacker. And he looks pretty awesome, isn't he? Yeah, so it's not a new monster, of course. But uh, none of these monsters are except General um, Alice's bodyguard. But General Nation is a pretty heavy attacker. And um, he has one of his skill is basically a... Um, 
single target which bleeds i'm pretty sure and then um i think he also has nightmare effect i'm sorry if i'm wrong but um he he, he could also i, I think um uh, apply evasion for himself I, i'm pretty sure because i haven't used this monster in a long time i already have him but it's just that um i think he has an evasion skill now talking about a fire monster general Darmouth, uh he is most likely an attacker he has multiple skill that uh, applies damage boost and precision and there's a um, one of his skill that uh, gives 100% uh, damage and ignores incoming attack so a really good monster and uh, yeah I would definitely purchase them if I were you now talking about general Alsas, this monster is very uh, I guess good for as a supporter and uh, this monster could totally heal it could uh, apply poison and of course heal its teammates so very good monster as a supporter now not too many people like this monster and I don't have him at all that's why I didn't purchase him and I guess this monster is not really worth talking about because I mean unless you want to purchase him and put him in your as a as in your collection then sure but other than that don't purchase him at all okay just like the other monster that I just talked about Ingeverse Bodyguard uh Shinera's pet is almost the same level I guess or the same level you could say uh I don't really talk about this monster much but uh, if you want to purchase them in your collection, go ahead and do so. But other than that, don't purchase them because um, if you have like all the monsters, let's say all all the monsters in the shop, and you don't have this monster, then I wouldn't really recommend uh, purchasing them. Uh, but if you want to purchase them for your collection, like I said, do it. Um, but other than that, don't do it. After I talked about Shinara's Pet and Ingiverse Pet, I don't want to keep continuing and talking about all these monsters one by one but i would say which one's really good and which was not a town's pet i already have him and i think he's okay not the best monster but he is most likely attacker then we have holter's pet i don't have this monster at all but um yeah a lot of people didn't like it not even uh one of my friends in real life that uh plays monster legends too but let's not talk about that either tantai's pet she is a really good attacker purchase her if you want to well, uh, if not, then whatever. She's not really a, a uh, supporter, but yeah, attacker really good. Yuria's pet. Uh, I I had this monster in my baby account. Well, not the one that I was doing videos on a few months ago, but it was way further than uh, further than that. And uh, I think it's alright, I guess. Nishan's pet is the best one. Okay, Nishan's pet and Taytay's pet is the best, like out of all of them, I think. And um. These two monsters are really good, not gonna lie. They are pretty OP because Nisha's pet has a multiple uh, confusion skill, which is really good actually. Now, Darmit's pet is a attacker. Don't really purchase him if you want to. I mean, I wouldn't really recommend it, but if you really want to purchase him, then do it. Uh, he is most likely an attacker, okay? And Alsa's pet is a uh, supporter and not really. I mean, he's, he's, he's alright, you know? He's not the best, but he's alright. Ingevar's pet, same level as Elsa's pet, I guess. And then Shannara's bodyguard, I don't really know about him, so I'll just skip him. Then we have uh, Tom's bodyguard, which is a really good monster. Uh, he could uh, break a shield on an enemy and um, I think multi-stun too. And then Holder's bodyguard is a very good uh, supporter monster. Go ahead and purchase him if you want to. Taytay's bodyguard, I don't have him, and he was out um, a couple, well, I guess one month ago or something, last update. And then Yuria's bodyguard, I don't really have him either, so Nisha's pet too, I will just skip them. Darmid's bodyguard, guys, this bodyguard is the best one out of every single one of them because this is like the most OP monster in the game, like one of the most OP monster. I really like the fact that they added him in the game because one of his skills is like the most OP thing guys if you haven't seen my video from yesterday go ahead and do so because it was um a pvp attack a battle with him and i show you guys why he was very OP so go ahead and watch it for my last video and i'll explain why now these three next monsters are just added for fun i guess they added them uh in the team shop just in the actual monsters so Rosie is uh, not the best monster, so don't don't really recommend purchasing him. Pixel Lion, he looks very cool, but not uh, the best. So he he is, I guess, okay, but not the best. Uh, Killer Raptor, uh, I don't have this monster, but I've seen his skills, and they are like pretty good, but at the same time, not really. 
so he is most likely an attacker so if you want to attack or purchase him but at the same time I don't want to I don't I wouldn't really recommend you purchasing him I might buy him just for my collection but at the same time not really so for the cells you decide to do it okay 23 days you just decide which monster you want to rank up and which not but like I said, this monster right here that I showed you, uh, Darmit's Bodyguard, is pretty OP. So try ranking him up and he will be even much more stronger. And talking about um, speed, okay, there are there are only team speeds, not um, really like just speed levels, okay. So all these runes are just um, team levels, okay, it's team runes I guess. And these team runes... I would recommend purchasing uh, team speed most likely but uh, other than that it, it it depends okay it depends on what you're trying to purchase if you want to like make a uh, uh, let's say make a monster uh, your team actually like let's say stronger then I would recommend purchasing the team strength rune which is this one right here it says it right there and um, but if you want to make your team go first or something purchase of uh, team speed and then of course life and um, stamina but anyway I'm gonna end the video off here I hope you all enjoyed today's uh, video on the new team shop update if this helps you out go ahead and drop a like and um, just to support the channel and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already but anyway thanks for watching I'll see you all in my next video peace out